What's up guys? Welcome back. So you're watching Just Bones 95. So as you can see, I picked up the three McFarlane figures from the local comic book store. Okay, so finally out of the box. Sit back there. And also, once again, vibrant colors that looks just awesome on the camera. So there we are with our Robin. And let's look at the card. That shot makes the figure look even awesome more awesome I should say so there you can uh, read that if you would like just go ahead and pause that pretty cool and then uh, so yeah let's go on to the figure itself comes with a slingshot for the accessory and like uh, the last review and what I was talking about and that I was curious on it is very rubbery same thing with the hair, feels pretty soft plasticky. The cape is a lot softer plastic. And uh, it looks like we got butterfly joints, uh, separate articulation at the wrist. The sleeve has an articulation spot, the joint here, and then plus the butterfly joint, so lots of arm articulation. The soft this of the um, I don't know, shirt I guess allows the leg to pose extremely well the flowing of the cape which is um, pretty standard of McFarlane but looks sick nonetheless the back has the, the belt wraps around has the details the glasses have this like transparent greenish look and you can see the eyes painted behind there See if I can get a good focus on the face. There we go. Yeah, the slingshot, um, pretty standard, nice little leather strap. Holds it very well. And um, size comparison with the Joker from the same line. <laughs> So many colors going on with the purple, yellow, and green, which makes it pop. Um, I definitely think it did a good job of capturing um, Robin on the stage of being a child. And here we are. Big chunk of horse. Big chunk of horse. Now here's the question that I don't know for sure is if we can put this together without um, having... Some other pieces. Looks like it will go together like this when we get everything though. Unfortunately, not having the Batman, the horse is not going to be finished. So maybe I'll do a separate video on the horse. If I uh, end up ordering Batman, which since I have this whole wave and I have all the pieces of the horse now, honestly, I might as well. So yeah, so that's the unboxing of Robin. Uh, super happy with that figure Can't for like especially all these figures in this whole line are great for their price and uh, next up we'll get on to soups I know he is gonna look absolutely huge compared to these figures because he is a muscular looking Superman in that series same thing with Batman probably fat man Batman is uh I didn't like the whole fat man thing at first it was like, that man's not supposed to be fat. But then actually after watching the show and hearing the story of like the retirement and everything, never reading the comics, of course. Well, not of course, I've read some. But yeah, anyways, after getting that one, I cut all this out. But yeah, I never really was big on the fat man thing until I watched the uh, first part of The Dark Knight Returns. I haven't seen the second part yet. Maybe I'll watch that sometime soon. But uh, yeah, the story was just great. And then the Joker, like how diabolical he was. Just crazy, like, yeah, super cool Joker. Really good series, and that's why I wanted to get these figures after I've seen them. And I had no intention of collecting them all at first. I was going to get the Dark Knight Returns Mayfex one, but that one was sold out. Joker, um, I thought he was kind of plain, so I was iffy on spending that much on the Mayfex one. But now I have that Joker for that look I want and for like a third of the price. So I'm happy with that. So stay tuned for the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. Next one we'll have Superman and we'll compare them to Robin and the Joker.